Let me now introduce image maps. An image map is a single image with different hyperlinks assigned to define regions of the image. Client-side image maps store the hyperlink information within the HTML document itself, not in a separate map file as do server-side image maps. When the user clicks on a hotspot in the image, the associated URL is sent directly to the server. Client-side image maps are supported by all modern browsers. Here's an example of an image map loaded into my Firefox browser. It's a map of the US, and notice when you roll over certain states, my cursor changes to a finger, indicating that that is a link. California, Utah, New Mexico have links. Alabama has a link here, so ideally I would click on the Alabama state, and this would link me to more information about that state. Here, if we look at the HTML file, this code is in the head section. Here is my link to the image map graphic. There's an area to find here, and then there's some JavaScript that makes this work. There's also some links that I've set up. Here are the defined regions. I have three of them, one for California, one for Utah, and one for Alabama. Now I use the web graphics editor Adobe Fireworks to create my image maps rather than coding this by hand. It has a very handy hotspot generator tool in which you simply draw out graphic shapes over your image to draw out your hotspots that then generate the image map for you. Fireworks will also write all the JavaScript coding when the file is published to an HTML file. For more information about the Adobe Fireworks hotspot tool, see my VTC course on Fireworks CS3 or CS4. Look for the movies that are entitled Hotspots. Before you define the regions on the image that constitute the image map, as I've done here, and then written the JavaScript, including the URLs that will link the hotspots to other HTML pages, you would insert this image into your HTML document. Now, I introduced to you earlier the tags and attributes for inserting images into your HTML documents, but let's move on now and review these very important HTML elements in much more detail.